What's going on, family? The one and only Astro Boo Baby here. And this particular video is kind of like a follow up to my most recent video entitled Crazy Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. And it was primarily sparked by an email that I had received from a self identified skeptic. And in the email, in gist, uh, they had pretty much said they don't believe in astral projection and really much of anything that I say, where's the proof of what you're saying if you want us to believe what you're saying, or better yet, why don't you astral project over my house and tell me what I have on and then I will believe you. Okay, well, brothers and sisters who may be skeptical um, and who are skeptical, I want you to understand that it's not about myself or anyone else who bring this kind of information proving anything to you or anyone else it is about us having an open mind and finding out or proving it to ourselves and how do we go about doing that it is to at least have an open mind take in the in information and investigate and then draw a conclusion from there. Astral projection as with any other subject matter that goes beyond our limited perception of reality is very personal. Very personal. Very personable. It is something that must be experienced and sometimes, actually more than often, the truth of anything is not going to be taught in a conventional way. The conventional way in that we must see it written out on paper or we must see it with our eyes by way of some kind of fancy, methodical graph, chart, text, Right up. Sometimes, or more than often, the truth is felt. It is sensed. It is detected by those things that transcend the five senses. Now, many of us who are skeptical believe that we all we have are five senses. So this is not going to make sense to some of us. When we talk about metaphysics, and spirituality. We are dealing with elements that only one who has an open mind and willing to investigate will begin to somewhat understand. Myself and others like me are not here to babysit we are not here to tell anyone everything because we do not know everything. No one person does. However, we all have a piece of the puzzle. I consider myself more as a catalyst or messenger. Most of my videos are structured in a way to get people to think, to go within to question, to ponder, so that we can begin finding our own way and in using the information provided to investigate and thus finding our own truth. Astral projection is 100% provable. 
but it is not up to me to prove it to you or anyone else. However, if we were to take the information, learn a take technique, and be diligent with it, I promise that you will find the answer. And there is nothing wrong with being skeptical. Being skeptical is something that really we all should be at all times. The problem comes in for those of us who are self-identified skeptics is that what sense does it make to be skeptical with the very same constructs and paradigms that you or we are using to be skeptical with rather than be skeptical of the very same premise and paradigms that we use to be skeptical of others with. In other words, what we are asking and presenting is why not be skeptical of everything that we've ever been given? Why not go back and investigate and question all those things and then begin to question those of us who bring something different? How do we know that all that we've been taught is true? Because the majority has said it's so. Because our educational system has said so. But how do we really know? After all, this world is an illusion. It is a game, so to speak. And in this game, we have polarity, positive and negative. And how do we know that most if not all of what we've been taught thus far comes from the negative side of the polarity. It may well have come from the positive. It may be a little of both. But how do we know? The skepticism should be with everything, not just what we've gathered thus far and we're using those as tools to, uh, you know, criticize or be skeptical or doubtful of anything that doesn't fit in what was already set into motion. That's my challenge to my brothers and sisters who are skeptics. I challenge you to be skeptical of everything that you've ever been taught. I wonder how many of us could actually do that. And then, since we are skeptical, I challenge us to investigate before drawing a conclusion on anything. One of the things that I am a stickler of for myself and to come to my understanding of what truth is, is that I keep an open mind and I'm always listening to and reading different points of views. I grew up in the Baptist church. I learned some Buddhism. I learned some things from Jehovah Witnesses. I learned some things from Islam. I learned a little bit about the pagan belief, um, uh, spirituality, you, you name it. And then, of course, I had my own experiences in the center of all of this. And I'm still learning and growing. Let me set this thing straight here. And I keep an open mind. And I do question everything. And this is one of the ways 
to which I formulate my truth. I never want to be one of those people to be put on a pedestal. I do, I'm not a guru. I am not a prophet. However, I am a catalyst. That's what I like to identify myself as. A messenger. I like to share my truth, my information. And I always say, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These, the family members who follow my work do so because there's a resonance either through an experience or several experiences that resonate with those that I've shared or there's an inner resonance of truth between us. And I am always helping my brothers and sisters to discern for themselves, to empower themselves. And this is one of the reasons why I'm always saying let's learn to question, investigate. And not rely on someone else's truth to feel valid in our own. Those situations should be more like tools. Like I consider myself, I am a vessel. I am like a tool. And in doing so, I am being a catalyst and helping those of us who feel and know that there's more than what we have been taught and told. And we are making great progress. And so my skeptical brothers and sisters, I challenge you, starting today, to investigate before we rush to judgment and to even investigate the very premise for which we are being skeptical of a view or being skeptical of a view from that which comes from a construct to which we have been given prior to adulthood or wherever we are now if we are in adulthood most skeptics are adults I don't think I've come across um, a teenage skeptic I'm not saying they don't exist but I'm primarily addressing our adults um, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, many of you guys are wondering how to deal with negativity. And uh, really, really quick, we try our very best to remain positive no matter what is going on around us. If we come up with a negative thought, because remember, our thoughts are alive. Our thoughts are consciousness, so what we think, we manifest, whether we know it or not, which is one of the reasons why we have such a chaotic planet. So if we come up with negative thoughts, we must instantly catch, catch it and flip it. Think of something positive, loving, something to make us laugh. Cancel it out altogether, and over time, we will master it. Because remember, we are co-creating the reality that we see. We are all playing a part. So even though we may not be negative in our intent, but just a negative thought makes all the difference in the world. Let's get a hold of that, control it, keep it in check. And I'm running out of time, family. And as always, you are so loved beyond measure. 
and happy travels.